Great, today I'm going to show you how to back up your WordPress site. You can do so in two uh, fairly easy steps. Um, keep in mind that you need two things to restore your WordPress site if something drastic does happen, uh, whether it's you know some kind of bonehead move that takes you down, or uh, whether it's you know transferring this to a new host. Basically, you want to keep in mind that there's two things that you need. You need a backup of the actual files of your site, which is everything contained in your WP content folder. You want to not just do your themes, but you want to do the whole content folder because that's going to include uh, the current version of the plugins that you have installed, and also very important, it's going to include your W. Uh, it's going to include your uploads folder, which includes all of the uh, pictures in the correct locations that you've uploaded ever. Um, so that's pretty important. If you don't have that, then you're going to have to manually connect every picture that you put back in here. The other thing that you need to do is take a uh, backup of your database, and I'm going to show you how to do that with a plugin called WP DB Backup. First of all, we're going to log into the site, which I'm already logged into. You should hopefully know how to log into your site. Um, we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to install a new plugin. So we'll go to plugins and then uh, install plugins and then add new plugin. We're going to look for plugin called wp-db for database dash backup. All right, and we're going to click install now to install this plugin. This is going to make a backup of all of your entire WordPress database, which is super handy. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. We're going to go down to tools, and you'll see that there's a new tool called backup. Go ahead and push that. You're going to see that it brings up a page that looks roughly like this. Uh, you can use this to automate your backups, which I haven't done, but it looks like it's all built in. All I'm going to do right now, though, is leave all of this stuff as it is and click nothing except for backup now. And you'll see it gives us a little progress bar, and it'll take just a minute or two to complete. Okay, while that's going, we're going to do uh, the, other, the other task that we need. We're going to connect to our uh, our current host through an NFTP program. I'm using FileZilla. You can use something else if you like. Uh, FileZilla is for free on the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to let's see we're going to connect to it, browse to where your WordPress install is located on your current host and we're going to let's see you can see this is this is my whole install right here and you have three main files in your in your WordPress install. You have your admin, your content, and your includes. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on your wp-content folder and we're just going to download the whole thing. It's going to take a minute or two, but this contains um, not only your theme, but also your plugins and also your um, your uploaded images. And your images are kind of important because when you upload your images it puts it in all sorts of different folders and if you don't copy the folders over exactly as they are then when it gets to the new site it's not going to know where to connect to those files um, so that's why we're doing this whole content folder okay I'm just going to switch back over to our site you'll see that our backups complete and it gave us a downloaded file I'll go ahead and show this in folder there you go and you can see it I'm just going to right click and cut I'm going to go back to my FileZilla and I'm just going to paste it. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to drag it in FileZilla. So I'm going to drag it right to the folder that we're saving our WP content. And now as soon as FileZilla completes, we're going to be good to go. You can see there's quite a few files in your, in your WordPress install. So 2,500 left. Okay, now we have our files all backed up. We have our database dump right here. We have our site basically prepped and ready to go. At this point, we basically have everything that we're going to need to have um, if we do need to restore our site for whatever reason. Um, you know, whether you mess up your installation or whether you're moving to a new host, between the, the files that you backed up in FileZilla and the SQL database dump that you made with WPDP backup, that's basically all you need. I would recommend you automate your WPDB backup. You probably don't need to do it that often. I back mine up weekly. Uh, it emails a tiny, tiny file to my email, and I just auto-archive it on my Gmail. 
Uh, but it's really nice to have if you need. I've never I've never had to have it, but you know what? When I do need to have it, it's going to be there and ready. If you need to know how to restore your backup from this backup that you've made, click on the link below and I'll have another video there showing you how to restore it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.